In this tutorial, we will set up the environment for the Excel Wings integration with Excel. So first of all, go to the README files. Here I have mentioned a link to dis uh, download Anaconda distribution. Just copy and paste this link into your browser. Anaconda is a free package and its use is also free. You can download it for Windows and for Mac as well. I am downloading it for Windows. Click on the download button and your download will start shortly. Once you have then downloaded the Anaconda, we have to start it. So by clicking on the installer, now we can install it. Note for Windows and Mac users, the process is almost same and it is very easy to install. So click on next. I agree. Click next. Keep the destination folder as default, which is mentioned here. Click on next. For Windows user, check this box and click install. After completion, click on next. Click on next. Unselect both of these. Click finish. After that, open the command window on Windows or terminal on Mac. So I will open the Anaconda prompt on Windows. After that, enter this command, Excel Wings add-in install. This will install the Excel Wings add-in uh, on your Excel installation. Control V and press enter. It will take few seconds and will install the Excel Wings add-in. So if your Excel is running, you have to quit the Excel and then run this command. It says that it is successfully installed the Excel Wings add-in, please restart Excel. So now we have to open the Excel and move to step number three. In step number three, go to file. For This is for Windows user and for Mac users I will tell you later. So go to file, options, click on the trust center. From this and onwards, the Mac users uh, and the Windows users have the same steps. So click on the Trust Center, click on the Trust Center settings, click on the Macro settings and check this box. This is a one-time process. You will not do this process each and every time. And click on OK. Click on OK again. After that, you have to go to step number four. So uh, it's actually to enable this developer tab. I have this developer tab by default available here, but if you don't have, you can go to file, options, and then the customize ribbon. After clicking on the customize ribbon, you will get these tabs. So you can check this box, click OK and you will get a developer tab this one these both both of these developer tabs are the same now click on the visual basic click on the tools references and check excel wings and you have to make sure that this one is uh, checked as well click ok and you are done so that was actually step number five.